Everyone do the teleport. Do do. I present to you, Calamelios Zephyros. Hmm. Here you will find a number of testing facilities, as well as the observation hub of Poiton Oikos. Right then. Let's begin by... Hmm. <laughs> oh, Spriggan. Well, well. An Arrayus. Oh. How delightful. It's cute. And now it's running. Oh, no. And what, pray tell, is that? <laughs> it's a shark fam. Ah. That's a new species of shark. We approved the concept, but a few days ago. Why? Why would you approve Sharks of it? Sharks are among the most popular sea creatures. Rare is the day when someone does not submit a new concept. At first, they were largely orthodox. Consideration given to such things as size and environmental impact. And then a whimsical someone thought to bestow it with flight. Another superior intelligence. And then the floodgates burst. Concepts with multiple heads, or arms, or legs, oh, no. or arms and legs, and so on and so forth. It was getting absurd. A part oh, no. of me wanted to tell them to go away and find oh, something no. else to create, but in the end, I couldn't deny their passion. Oh no. And here we are. Start going to attack us. <laughs> oh! Is that who I think? <gasps> Hi, Dylan. That was too close. Are you unharmed? Well, now, if it isn't a pair of familiar faces. Banar, that we should meet you here. As I mentioned earlier, the better part of the Convocation holds that when we retire is when we return to the star. Well, she is not among said majority. Even after stepping down, she carries on with her work. Vinar is her name, and she is the previous Azim. <laughs> I could just like, oh it god. Been a while, Hithlidaeus. You look well. I can't get my chat box so to go away. Itself? I dare say the lines upon your brow have both deepened and doubled in number. It A shame for one so young. You must make an effort to frown less often. <laughs> Easier said than done, thanks to your unruly successor. How is she? If I may ask. Incorrigible as ever. Rushed headlong into a volcano on the brink of eruption just the other day. I should be glad to share the tale in its entirety later, if you're so inclined. Oh, you know I am. Now then, you are? I am human. Oh no. She must know. I say, have you perchance come from the future? Oh no, she knows. I do not believe we have ever met, yet I sense my magic upon you. Therefore, if I wove the enchantment, I could only have done so at a later point in time. <laughs> time to restart. <laughs> what manner of magic is this, if I may ask? A also, I still can't get rid of the fucking chat box. It I wish it would go the away. Of one's ether.
primals, you say? Well, I'm not familiar with such being. I gather from your Oh my god, thank you. I didn't you know. Not ignorant to its presence. So I was just like sitting there with it. <laughs> thank you. Hold on. Yeah, the clip from the cog I couldn't do either. That's absurd. I'm like, I'm trying to take screenshots, but there's a fucking chat box in my way. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. What is it? Are you unable to speak of the matter? Yes. That's part of the spell. Ah. The reality to which you must return exists as a result of the final days. You cannot reshape the past to undo the tragedies of present. So, your actions here will not change your history, but they may yet affect the course of ours. How very exciting. I'm quite fond of delving into the unknown. Right. And there's naught more unknown than I'm the sorry. future. Until a moment finally arrives, we cannot know for certain what will come to pass, regardless of our supposed foreknowledge. So you needn't worry for us. More importantly, that Just imagine that your character lens has to travel as you into the past bespeaks the gravity I'm pretty sure you could quest. replay the story so if you want to watch Will it with your character you could <laughs> mayhap we can be of aid to your cause <laughs> I'm just sorry if this is true then you've been keeping quite the secret to yourself uh oh as a representative of the Convocation, I will hear it all. Your identity, purpose, everything. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. <laughs> <Peace. laughs> it's like, I don't want to. Leave me alone. Why don't we move to a place more conducive to calm conversation? It's not calm. It's depressing. I've been working here for some days now at an old friend's behest. If it is agreeable, we may make use of my accommodation at Poit and Oikos. Huh? Come by me again. We were meant to meet. I am certain of it. Else I wouldn't have marked you so clearly and sent you unto myself in the past. Well, it's precisely the sort of mischief I would get up to. I'm quite inspired, if I do say so myself. <laughs> God damn it. So pretty. <gasps> Tea! Wonderful aroma. I feel more relaxed already. Would that I had sweetmeats to offer, but I travel light out of habit. There's plenty of hot water though, so please have as much tea as you like. Now I want tea, damn it. Now then, will you tell us your tale? Mm, I don't think I should fully, but like. Calamity called the final days has befallen the world. The world has been suddenly broken into shards. Lead to the star. <sighs> okay. Why don't you start from the beginning? Ah. 
fucking claws. <laughs> Just claw. <laughs> This is going to be a long story for them. Let's just hope no one, you know, intrudes. Oh. It. <laughs> Every Final Fantasy story with the main character, to be fair, honest. No, they're probably really sad. Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. But it's true. While not the words I would have chosen, I too have my doubts. Much of it borders on the incredulous. What of you, Vanan? But she's the only one who believes us. Not knowing the precise details of the first final days, it is difficult to determine the veracity of the tale. Supposing it is all true, I must ask myself why I would do what I did. Why would I feel I had no recourse but to oppose the 14 and create this Hydaelyn? Circumstances change, of course, but it would not have been an easy decision regardless. Mm. No, there must have been a reason. One compelling enough to force me to take such drastic measures. Then there is the Elpis flower, which I said would serve as a guide. Which is that the past. That import to your mission is plain. But your presence here leads me to believe that this place also holds significance. But what could it be? What are we meant to accomplish? Death. Might it not be simply thus? In the future, when she came, the final days could not be averted. Mankind has no choice but to flee the star. By alerting us to that eventuality, Perhaps you wish to pave the way for other futures. Theoretically speaking, it is a possibility. Yet if that were my primary objective, I see no reason to guide our friend to Elpis specifically. Mm. The capital and Amarot, or even my own home, would be more logical destinations. Well, we don't know, Hydaelyn. True, true. I note also that Heidelin did not specify a point in time to which she must return. By this, it may be inferred that it was not critical that we should meet. Alternately, she had reason to believe that our paths would converge, coincidental though it may seem. Hmm. This is quite a puzzle. And we do not have all the pieces. Notice how Emmett isn't saying anything. Hardly any. But we do have one immutable fact. If the final days are indeed as described, they will bring death to all that I hold dear. Yet despite being afforded long years of preparation, the only provisions I could make were... for flight. Nay. My first and foremost endeavor would be to find a way to forestall the coming doom. Given that even the 14 failed, mayhap you deemed it impossible. I was about to say, maybe Nothing it was just impossible, impossible to fight back. This I have always believed. And if Heidelin is indeed me, she would believe the same. 
Hmm. Listen to yourself. Are you seriously entertaining the notion that you are a messianic figure in some far-fetched tale? Well, I will not. I refuse to accept that our world could be undone by some unforeseen calamity. I also take offense to my portrayal as a megalomaniacal madman. And <laughs> to sacrifice oneself for the star is a noble act, and I would hold those who gave themselves to this zodiac in the highest esteem. Okay. Yet. You claim I recreated Amarot and populated it with phantoms of our people? A bizarre indulgence that would be insulting to their memory. But... No. Worse still, I even invited you there. Literally invited my own downfall. Why would I do something so idiotic and inexplicable? Because you're Emmett. <laughs> like, honestly. Now, I will allow that the hypothetical task of restoring our world would be daunting in the extreme. The thought of having to bear such a burden for a thousand, thousand lives horrifies me. But I would never forsake my duty. I would never forsake my brethren. Maybe learning this will change you. Do not do this. You do not know me. I mean... I've had my fill of your fiction. I will return to my duty, and you will not bother me again. I'm sorry. Emmett Selk, wait! When you can't take harsh reality. You've seen much of Elpis already. If you have any observations to share, I should like to hear them. Uh, her recent... Or someone how involved. Uh... Hermes and his creation Meteon, you say? If Dynamis is the self-same energy as Akasha, as it likely seems, then those two may well be at the center of the calamity to come. This warrants further investigation. With that settled, it is time for action. The missing pieces of the puzzle are here, I'm certain of it. And when you find them, the picture my future self has painted will be complete, and you will have your answer. Now suffice it to say, I will aid you in your quest. They're poor tea. If Emmet Selk is the man Azum described to me, we've not seen the last of him. He's just a little pissed off and peeved with me. <laughs> He's like, how dare you fucking insult me? I'm a good boy, I promise. 